what I'm going to do in this video is teach you how to do electron configurations, orbital diagrams, and count valence, and do Lewis dot structures for those elements. You may have a table that looks like this in your book, um, or like this, and you may not understand how to use it. So my goal is to help you in this video understand how to use these two um, images that might be in your textbook to write electron configurations and orbital diagrams. The first thing you're going to need is a periodic table that has the atomic number listed at the top. That's the number of protons, but for right now the more important is that it's the number of electrons in a neutral atom. I'm going to just do in this video elements uh, 1 through 10, which is hydrogen through neon. Um, I've actually already started hydrogen. Hydrogen will fill the first energy level with that one electron, because there's only one uh, proton, so there's only one electron. And what will happen is it'll end up moving around the center of the atom due to the fact that it's attracted to the, the protons in the nucleus. The s orbital is a sphere shape, unlike the p orbitals, which we'll need soon. Um, and that just means that we can find that electron 90% of the time somewhere around um, this level. It can sometimes be out at a higher level, but 90% of the time it's located in this uh, area of three-dimensional space, which is this uh, s orbital you might see in your textbook. So what you'll do next, instead of drawing this uh, cloud model or picture, you will do an orbital diagram next. And what will you have in an orbital diagram is you'll have the box representing the orbital. So instead of drawing this shape, you'll just draw a box. Um, an arrow means you have an electron, so we only have one arrow because there's only one electron in hydrogen. And then the one will be the energy level, and then the s is the orbital. And then the upper number up here is the number of electrons um, that are in that orbital. Each orbital is going to be able to hold two, so you'll see at least a one, a two, or sometimes even more, depending on what orbital it is. The next thing you might be asked to do is write an electron configuration. So again, you have the energy level, the electron is in, the path is the S shape, that sphere that's around the atom center, and there's only one electron making that um, path or you can find it in that three-dimensional region. And then there isn't really a shorthand version because we haven't passed a noble gas. Once we go through and pass helium, which is a noble gas, you'll be able to use that. And then what I'm going to have you do is put that electron configuration on a periodic table. I just cut out um, part. I only have the what's called the main group of elements. So the name of this is these are the main, um, or they're the representative elements. And I'm only going to focus again on elements 1 through 10 today. And then the next thing you might be asked to do is valence. And for hydrogen, there's only one electron. And valence is described as the number of electrons in the outermost energy level. And there only is one in energy level 1, so then that's only going to have one. And then it gets one dot. That dot represents how many valence there are. And then what we're going to do is just going to completely work backwards and start all over with our next element, which will be helium and then we'll make it all the way to neon, hopefully in a very efficient manner. So the next element is helium, which will have two electrons. And so the rule is that each orbital can hold two electrons. So there's room in this three-dimensional region for another electron. So we haven't added a new orbital yet, and we haven't gone to energy level two yet either. So in this case, what you do is you'd still say, OK, I only have one orbital. It's at the 1s. And I have two electrons, but they're going to spin opposite. Um, it's called the Pauli exclusion principle. And what it stands for is that there are two electrons in that orbital. And the rule is that they have to spin up or down, um, or what some people say, clockwise and counterclockwise. So you'd never want to do this. This is wrong, putting two up or um, two down. Those are both um, you know, wrong. You wouldn't want to do those. So then the next thing we're going to do is shorten that a little bit and say that there's two electrons in that first level um, in that spherical shape around the center of the atom. And then um, the noble gas configuration, we don't shorten it yet because we haven't passed a noble gas. Helium is a noble gas and so is neon. And then it now has two valence electrons because that's the number of electrons in the outermost energy level. So on this periodic table, just recopy the short version. And then here it would have two. And then what you do is you just don't pair them until you get past um, four. So I'm just going to put one dot on either side of that symbol. And then we're just going to go backwards and start all over with lithium. So we're going to continue back in the same path here. Um, the first energy level is completely filled. 
Um, there's no more orbitals that can be made um, according to what's called the off-ball rule or off-ball principle. And you'll see that in your book you might see something like this where you have a 1s and then it'll have 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, um, and then 3d, and then a 4s, 4p, 4d, and then 4f. So at each energy level you get to have another um, orbital. So the first level is completely what's called filled. So the next electron, because we're going to have three, we're at lithium, we need to have a new um, orbital to put it in. And what that electron does is it moves around the atom at an energy level of two, but it still makes, um, in three dimensions, a spherical shape. So it would make this kind of like a gigantic sphere compared to the other one. Um, there are what are called dead regions or nodes, but we're not going to worry about that. So we still have another s orbital. It's just this s orbital, you know, if you compared it, would be bigger than the, the first one. So if this was the 1s, this would be the 2s orbital. It can still hold two electrons, though. Um, but we only need one because we're at three. So then what we'll do next is draw out that we have two orbitals now, one, two. And it's a 1s and a 2s. And then you'd say, again, you have one, two, three electrons. Um, the short version again is called the electron configuration. Since we have um, passed um, helium we could use what's called a bracket. So this is the short version. I'm just going to show you that. So then you'd say 2s1 but really what they want the long version what they really want is 1s2, 2s1 and then this actually would go here on the shortened version. So you'd say helium and then 2s1, because again, if you go back, you're filling the 2s um, orbital, the second energy level in an s shape. That means now we're back to having only one valence. This is what's going to go on our table. So you'd write helium 2s1. And then again, now we only have one electron in the outermost energy level, because again, we have a second energy level, and there's only one electron. So we're back to having only one dot. I'm going to go backwards again and start all over with beryllium, which is going to have uh, four electrons. So again, if you go back to your table, beryllium has four electrons. So again, using this rule that you can have two electrons in each orbital, the 2s orbital has room for another electron. So that here again, you'll say I have one orbital and I have a second orbital called the 2s at energy level two. I have two electrons in each and then now they're full. Here you would say 1s2, 2s2. Here you could shorten it sort of with using helium and saying 2s2. On your table again we're just going to keep building up. That's what off ball means. It's German for to build up. And then now because we have again second energy level is the highest and then there are two electrons. That's the number of valence. So we're back to having two dots. Again, don't pair them. You have to go around kind of the symbol until um, you have four. So I'm going to go backwards again, and we're going to start all over. Again, remember this is what really off-ball means is to build up.